Right now on Thornton 360, City Council got a look at what the stations on the new Fast Tracks North Metro area line will look like. Freezing one day, warm the next. These weather extremes mean a danger on our lakes and ponds. A warning from Thornton Fire. And we'll visit the latest art show at Thornton's Oz Gallery. Thornton 360 starts right now. Hello and welcome to Thornton 360. I'm Lisa Wilson. And I'm Todd Barnes. Thanks for joining us. We start this edition with a look at what happened at City Council. City Council got a look at what some of the future fast track stations in Thornton will look like. Staff presented the station area master plans. I, I think it's imperative that we clearly state why we choose to create these station area master plans. The, the construction of fast tracks is going to offer the city of Thornton a once in a lifetime opportunity to redefine how we plan and how we develop new neighborhoods in close proximity to these rail transit stations. These stationary master plans act not only as an implementation tool as we've discussed, um, but they provide the rationale for exploring new policy and new regulatory tools that will help us guide that future development. Our collective vision is to create vibrant mixed use communities and the tools included within these plans are essential to that end. With Ward 3 Representative Beth Martinez Humanic's election to the state Senate, Council chose a new Ward 3 Representative. Sam Sai Vu will take the Ward 3 seat. His swearing in is January 20th. To see the entire City Council meeting, tune to Xfinity Channel 8 or visit cityofthornton.tv. If you've ever wondered what it takes to be a firefighter, now is your chance to find out through the Thornton Fire Citizens Academy. The Citizens Fire Academy is for individuals 18 and older. Um, you either have to work or reside within the city of Thornton. And it kind of gives the citizens an insider's view to the fire department. Um, they often see us at emergencies and so they see us performing work. This will give them an opportunity to see us on the other side so they can see us training and partake in that training as well. So they get to use some of the equipment. They also get to try on all of our equipment too. People who have taken our academy said it's just an amazing experience. They have an all new appreciation for the fire department as a whole and for our firefighters as well. So you're gonna have a whole educational experience as to why does it take so much, um, you know, a budget amount to have all of this equipment? And why do we need to have three firefighters on a fire truck? Why do you have to have a paramedic on an ambulance? So it is an educational experience for the citizens to learn uh, the different levels of service that we offer and what, what their value of their tax dollar is all about in the fire department. The, the application is available on our website, as well as if you give us a call here at Fire Administration, we're more than happy to email you an application. It's a very easy process just to fill that out, send it back to us, and our deadline is Friday, February 13th. This winter has brought us freezing conditions mixed with warm days creating dangerous conditions on our lakes and ponds. Some safety tips now from Thornton Fire. We're here today at the Spratt Platt Fishing Facility to talk about the dangers of lake ice and how residents and their pets can be safe during the winter. First, let's talk about the facts. With the drastic temperature fluctuations on the front range, frozen lakes and ponds are never safe. Ice can vary in thickness based on unseen weaknesses, and the ice strength can never be determined by appearance alone. The only safe bet is to keep off. Many people have a false sense of security in believing that since they can swim, they will be safe. The reality is the cold water temperature can make your arms and legs numb, which means you can't control your muscles enough to swim at all. If you are witness to a person or animal through the ice, call 911, encourage self-rescue, and if necessary, remember the last seen location. Do not attempt your own rescue and further complicate an already challenging scene. Remind young adults and children to never venture onto frozen water. As an adult, set a good example by staying off the ice yourself. And always keep pets on a leash and never throw sticks or balls on the ice for your pets to retrieve. Each winter, the Thornton Fire Department responds to many ice rescue incidents on the city's many lakes and ponds. Please help us to reduce the number of incidents. And remember, the only absolute in ice safety is to stay off the ice. Thank you. Big changes for a section of Washington Street. The widening project will not only make your driving smoother, 
but it'll also play a part in the changing business landscape in North Thornton. Well, what the city's going to do is build a six-lane improvement along Washington Street, take the two-lane, existing two-lane roadway to six lanes like you see on 144th, be three lanes in each direction with a raised median, landscaping median, and some bike lanes. During construction, we'll be down to one lane in each direction. Uh, we'll have a constant open of one lane, except for the possible uh, delays for unloading of equipment or something. They'll be temporary at best. Um, and then it'll be a little bit of a diversion on the road. It'll be the same general alignment, but just a little bit of a curve off to the west. The goal is to improve development, encourage it in the local area by getting these streets done, make them more attractive like this, extend the corridor from the Cabela's store. I understand there's some development coming in here. There's already some potential up here, so it's, it's really encouraging to start seeing that. A Thornton School for Gifted and Talented Students celebrated 20 years of learning. You know, the, the best part about Stargate is it's a partnership between the teachers, the kids, and the parents. Um, you know, it's really like a tripod that every leg has to hold its own weight in order for it to stand up on its own and be successful. If you got a gifted kid, this is the place to be. I was told this would be the hardest job you'd ever love. I love the children here. Um, I can take them so far. It's just a great job. One of the things I love about the staff is that they look at each individual kid and they say, what do you need? How can I help you? So today we're celebrating 20 years and we have um, invited our entire community, past and present. We kind of call it the uh, Eagles Come Home to the Nest because we're the Stargate Eagles. It's a place that the kids call home and they keep coming back. It feels safe and home and familiar and like the love is always there. And, um, and yet when they come in, they want to look at how things have changed and how they've grown and they want to see what's the same. And so 20 is kind of a big landmark for that. I really believe our kids will change the world. And to know that you had a part in that is huge. Every two months, Thornton police officers team up with local businesses and visit with residents and managers of multifamily housing communities. They offer up ways to keep neighborhoods crime free. A recent meeting brought to light the needs of one resident and her family, so Thornton PD and Alia Towing stepped up to help. The owner of Aliyah's Towing, is, his name is Ali, his idea was to provide a car to a needy family that might need it. In conjunction with Ali, who didn't have a family to give it to, he just he had that great idea, he said to us, if you could provide a family for me that was worthy, I'll provide the car. So myself and Officer Lopez and some of the other officers that are involved with this Thornton Partnerships went to our property managers and said, do you have a family like this in your property that you think would be a good candidate for this? So Officer Lopez, uh, dealing with Dana Hayes, who's the manager here at Renaissance 88, uh, found, a prop found a family that uh, we all thought was a good, a good candidate. They chose to donate a vehicle to a family. Oh, yes! And yes! Yeah! We but when we were asked for nominations for a family, your name immediately came to mind. You're deserving, you're hardworking, you're a model resident here at Renaissance 88, and we could think of no one better. And once we told your story, they agreed. Also, he decided that because of the Christmas crusade and the things that are going on right now around Christmas, he would also put in that car uh, presents for the kids of that particular family. <laughs> Got the kiddos. I don't know if you guys want to unwrap those, but yeah. <laughs> he had new tires put on it, a new windshield, new engine work done. It had, was it was detailed, and all of the work that was done to this car was actually donated by other companies. When he explained to him, explained to them what was going on. Oh, it's it's great. This partnerships that we have with our within our community has. Uh, has benefited us as, just as much as it has benefited them and to be able to do something nice like this to somebody who's deserving uh, it just may, you can't feel but anything but great about it so we're really proud of it. You don't have to donate a car to help a neighbor you can donate a coat. The annual Thornton Coat Drive runs through February 28th. It's an effort to help those in need beat the cold this winter. There are several drop-off locations in Thornton. For more information go to cityofthornton.net Thornton Arts and Culture kicks off 2015 by hosting two new art exhibits. We have two photography exhibits right now. We have uh, Greg Throw Tho at the Arts and Culture Center, and we have Tammy Barton, who's a Thornton resident at the Business Development 
hallway. I discovered Greg through the internet, um, and I really liked his pieces. I really thought he had a unique uh, way of photographing Colorado. So I contacted him and to see if he would exhibit up here, and he did. He was available, and um, so I'm really excited to have his work, to be able to show his work. He lives evidently near the Sports Authority field on a balcony, and so he takes a lot of these weather shots from his balcony. They can expect a lot of Colorado. Um, some Denver shots, some mountain shots. I think he shows a good um, representation of what you see in Colorado from the sunsets and the weather and the Broncos. The Barton family, Tammy and her husband, frame all of the, their photographs with wood. So it's kind of got a pine rustic appeal. She does a lot of also Colorado um, shots. And she's uh, an emerging artist. So these are her first, first exhibit, her first photography exhibit. She's got 30 pieces up there, so it's a nice exhibit. She did some nice flowers, some columbine and some other, other flowers. She does a lot of elk, moose, um, kind of Yellowstone Park, those kinds of things. I'm encouraging everybody to come and vote for their favorite piece because the Thornton Arts, Sciences, Humanities Council um, will purchase the People's Choice so to add to our permanent collection. So I'd like to know what everybody likes of these pieces so that we can purchase them and exhibit them throughout the city buildings. Okay. That's it for this edition of Thornton 360. Thanks for joining us. I'm Todd Barnes. And I'm Lisa Wilson. We'll see you next time.